Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. find associated prime ideals of a modulo or commutative ring and we have proved that when the ring is Noetherian and the modulus, module is finitely generated then the set of associated prime ideals is a finite set. Uh, now one little observation uh, about um, the associated prime ideals, this is very useful for computation. So, this theorem says if A is Noetherian, and V is finite A module, if, if S is a multiplicatively closed set in A, multiplicative close set in A. Also, we assume in general 1 belongs to S. So, that means S is actually sub-monoid of the multiplicative monoid of A. Uh, then, if I look at the module S inverse V, this is a module over uh, the ring S inverse A. And if I want to know what are the associated prime modules of this module as a module over S inverse A, this is precisely all S inverse P, where P is running through the associated prime modules of A, uh, prime modules of V, who do not intersect with S. P intersection S is empty. So, I am going to leave the details of the proof uh, as an exercise. This is very easy because all that we need to check that. Um, so, for example, I want to check that this inclusion, this inclusion I want to check, this inclusion. Suppose I want to check this. That means what? I have to take an associated prime ideal. So, to check this, so let P belonging to associated prime ideals of V and P do not intersect with S, then I want to prove that then to prove S inverse P, first of all S inverse P is now a proper ideal of S inverse A because P does not intersect with S and this prime ideal S inverse P, this actually is associated prime ideals of S inverse V as a S inverse A module. To check this, I have to produce an element in S inverse V so that it is an annihilator is precisely S inverse P. Originally that P was associated, therefore P is an annihilator of X for some X, X in V, X non-zero. And now the candidate we should look for is an annihilator of S inverse A as S inverse A uh, module of the element X by 1. I should prove that this is precisely equal to S inverse of P. If you prove that then we are done. But this is very easy because you, you have to prove that any element here annihilates this and conversely any annihilator of X by 1 is continuous. So, to see this first of all. So, take any element uh, here which is of the form uh, uh, A by S 
and you multiply this by x by 1, this is a x by s, but this is 0 by 1, which is 0 in the ring s inverse a. So, where this a, this a by s is an element in s inverse p, that means a is in p and s is in s, therefore, it and so it proves this inclusion. Conversely, we know <coughs> that uh, we know that p is a prime ideal. So, therefore, if if a s if a a by s is an element in s inverse a with a by s times x by n x by 1 is 0, this means 0 by 1, then this means so that means there exists a t in s with when I cross multiply so t times a x is 0, but t is in s therefore, t cannot be in p because p and s do not intersect and this is 0 is always in p. So, therefore, and t is not in p therefore, therefore, we conclude that Uh, so, t, so therefore, we conclude that A x is 0, therefore, A belong to annihilator of x, which was p and therefore, this belong to, therefore, this element A by s belong to s inverse p. So, that, that proves this inclusion. So, therefore, we have proved the one inclusion in the theorem and I will leave the other inclusion as an exercise. So, the other inclusion, this inclusion, we have left it as an exercise. So, it explains when you pass on to the localization, what happened to the set of associated prime ideals. So, among them, those who intersect with the given multiplicative set, they disappear, they become unit ideal and the remaining ones are still associated to this. Now, we come to support of a module. Support of a module. So, support of a module and the set of associated prime ideals of a module are very closely related. They are not exactly same, but they are very closely related and what is the close relation that we will find out now. So, first of all, let us define definition. So, V is an A module, then support of M, support of V, this is by definition all those prime ideals P. such that when I localize V at P, this module is non-zero. This is a subset of the spectrum. And note that we have, this is a topological space with the risky topology. So, where we have, where we have uh, uh, given or declared what are the closed sets in this, they are precisely the V of some ideals. So, anyway, so now this is a close, uh, this is a subset here in a topological space. So, it is natural to ask what kind of a subset is it, is it open, is it closed and so on. We will prove that this is a closed set and how do we find the how do we find it? What is, how do we find by using V? That is the task. So, um, so note that, note that if I take V equal to A, then what is the support of A as a A module? This is precisely all those prime ideals, all prime ideals, because 
when I take any prime ideal, any prime ideal in A, and if I localize, this ring is non-zero, because this is, in fact, this is a local ring, A, P is a local ring, with unique maximal ideal, P A P. This is and P A P the maximal ideal, therefore it is not the unit ideal, therefore this is uh, properly contained there, therefore this ring cannot be 0. Uh, note that here when I write this notation A localized P, this means we are taking the complement of P because P is a prime ideal, this complement of P is a multiplicatively closed set and one belong there. So, S inverse of that is precisely this, that is our notation. So, therefore, uh, when, the uh, when the module is equal to the ring, then the support of A as a A module is the whole spectrum and therefore, it is close. So, in general, that may not be the whole thing, but it will be a closed set that is what we want to prove it. So, in fact, so the theorem we want to prove is the following theorem. So, let V be a finite A module we are not assuming A is no Ethereum then support of M, support of V is precisely equal to V of annihilator of annihilator of V. Now, this is little bit inconvenient here, but this V is by definition, this is recall the notation, I will recall so, before we prove this, we should be clear about the notation. So, recall that for an ideal A in the ring A, we put V of A, this is by definition, all those prime ideals in the ring, which contains that given ideal A. This is a subset of the, the spectrum and we know the Zariski topology uh, the closed sets are precisely this collection V of an ideal where A varies in ideal in A. This collection forms a closed sets in a topological space, they satisfy the properties of the closed sets in a topological space that we have seen in uh, early lecture and this topology on the spectrum is called the Zariski topology on spec K. This is what the notation is and we want to prove that the support of a module is precisely V of the annihilator. All right. So, what is it we want to prove? Let us explicitly write it down. So, proof. All right. <coughs> so, we want to prove that. So, to prove support of M, the support of V, this is precisely all those prime ideals in A such that P should contain an elevator of V. This is what we need to prove because this is precisely V of an elevator of V. This is what we are saying, right. So, so, now I want to prove this. So, I will prove this inclusion first. 
So we are proving this equation. That means if I have an element prime ideal in the support, then I should prove that it contains the annihilator. So let P belong to the support of V. So that is what? That means V localized at P is non-zero. And what do I want to prove? I want to prove that, so to prove uh, annihilator of V is contained in P. So suppose not, suppose not. Then what? That means I can find, if this is not contained here, then I can find an element in the annihilator which is not in P. So then there exists T in the annihilator of V which is not in P. <coughs> and what remember what we want to prove? We want to now get a contradiction to what? We will get a contradiction to this. Okay, so <coughs> now let us take any any element of V by P, V localized P, any element X by S. This means X is in V and S is in A minus P. You take arbitrary element, then V X by S is also same as I can multiply up and down by the T I have chosen. So T X more uh, divided by T S. These are same that is a uh, localization and but T is in the annihilator. So therefore the numerator is 0 but then this is a 0 element in V localized at P. So X by S. So I have proved that if I take arbitrary element in the localization, then it is 0. So that means we have proved that the module V localized at P is 0. But then that contradicts the fact that, that it is non-zero contradiction. So therefore, we have proved, we have proved this inclusion. Now conversely, so this inclusion, what do you want to prove? We want to prove that, so let P is the prime ideal with P contains an annihilator of V. I have given the prime ideal in the right hand side and to prove P is in the support of V. That means V localized at P should be, should be non-zero. This is what we want to prove. All right. So now, what is uh, what is the other assumption we have? We have assumption that V is a finite module. So that means V is generated by finitely many elements. So let us say V is generated by A x one, etc., etc., A x r, or some elements R elements x1 to xr in V. This means every element of V is a linear combination of this x1 to xr. That means V is generated by this x1 to xr. That is we have given and we want to prove now that, that P is in the support. P contains the annihilator. So what is the annihilator of V? Annihilator of V is the annihilator of this sum a x1 plus 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 a x r because v is equal to this and what is the annihilator of the sum that is the intersection. So intersection i is from 1 to r annihilators of the elements ideas uh, the sub module generated by a x i. This is the <coughs> but this is the intersection of these ideals. So these, let us call, if you call these ideals to be AIs, 
these are the ideals in the ring and this is the intersection of that ideals and if you have intersection of the ideals that will contain the product of the ideals so this contains this is this is intersection is bigger than the product a1 to a r so this is what we know about the annihilator and now we had given p so since p is a prime ideal and p contains annihilator of v which is which contains which contains the product and because it's a prime ideal therefore it will contain one of them so therefore p contains ai which is annihilator of axi for some i from with 1 less equal to i less equal to r there exists an i so that this p contain this ideal ai this is where we have used the fact that p is a prime ideal but then that means what that means if i look at uh, if from the ring a if i go to the ring the residue class ring a by annihilator of a x i this is the ring the residue class ring a by a i so if i pass on from here to here p is a prime ideal here and p contain this a i so therefore p will continue to be the prime ideal that i will denote by p bar p bar is p by a i so this is the prime ideal in the in the residue class ring so this p bar is a prime ideal in the ring a by a i all right and what is the what is now a mod annihilator of a x i uh, so why do i write so much uh, look at a modulo a i and then the localize at this this think of this as a module and localize at p that is same thing as a mod a i this ring localizing at the p bar that means what that means localization commutes with the residue so whether i localize first or i localize i go mod and then localize these two operations are same but then what is this this is definitely non zero this is definitely non zero because this is non zero because this is a prime ideal in the ring this ring and it's a non so it's it's non zero because it's a proper ideal p is a proper ideal i have noted that if you take a ring then every element in the spectrum is a support so this p bar is in the spectrum of this so therefore as a ring this one every element of the spectrum of that ring will be in the support so therefore so so therefore what we proved is a modulo the annihilator of a x i this we know this is this localized at p that is this side this is this this is and this inside module this is isomorphic to the sub module of v generated by x i this we have seen that these two are isomorphic is seen in, in the beginning so therefore the localization is isomorphic and therefore we know because this is non zero this is non zero see this is non zero so therefore this is non zero this is non zero but this is a sub of v localized at p so this is non zero so therefore what we proved is we localize that p as a non zero sub module in particular the module should be non zero we localize that p is non zero and that is what we wanted to prove so we have proved that the support is precisely 
the V of the annihilator of the module V. So, in particular, it is a closed set in a Zariski topology. So, uh, all right. So, now the next one, next theorem is also equally very important that now gives a connection between the associated prime modules. So, the next theorem is. Next theorem is now I will assume let A be Noetherian. And V finite A module. <coughs> and we have a chain of some modules. chain of sub modules of V with the successive residues V i by V i minus 1, these are isomorphic to A by P i, A by P i where P i is are the prime ideals, i is from 1 to n. Okay, then we have, remember we have proved earlier that the associated prime ideals of V, this is contained in P1 to Pn, this we have proved earlier, this is we have proved and now I am saying that this is contained in the support of V. Moreover, associated prime ideals of V, this set and support of V have the same minimal elements. With respect to the natural inclusion. All right. So, proof. We have already proved that the associated prime ideals of V is precise contained in P1 to Pn. This we have already proved. Proved earlier. <coughs> All right. So, and what do you know how did these PIs are? A mod PIs are precisely the ith sub quotient. The, so, this is isomorphic to V i by V i minus 1 that is what it is given to us. So, therefore, when I localize now this is the residue class ring. So, when I localize A mod PI at PI this is definitely non-zero. Same reason because this is a ring, this is a non-zero ring because P i are the proper ideal, this is non-zero ring and this is a localization of that ring therefore, this is non-zero and this is on the, so this isomorphic to this V i modulo V i minus 1 localized P i. So, therefore, this localized P i is non-zero therefore, so that definitely implies the numerator V i localize at P i, this is definitely non-zero because if numerator is 0, this model will be 0. But then if, if so therefore, this V i localize at P i, this is non-zero and this is a submodule of V localize at P i because localization is localization keep injections. So, that means if V i is a submodule of V, then further localization will also it will be a submodule of the localization. So, therefore, I produce a submodule which is non-zero in particular V p i is non-zero and 
and that shows that these primordial PIs are in the support. So, and PIs belong to the support of V. So, we have proved the other inclusion. So, proved, so we have proved this P1 to PR, P1 to PN, this is a subset of the support. Now, we only have to prove, so only need to prove minimal elements are same. Only to prove that minimal elements, minimal elements in the support are contained in in the associated primes. So that means what we to prove if P is in the support of V is minimal element with respect to of course the natural inclusion then we need to prove P belonging to associated primes of V. That means we want to find an element X so that P is annihilator of X for some X in V for some. So, there exist X in V so that P is the annihilator of X that is what we want to prove. Uh, we want to prove uh, like uh, what we uh, some properties what we I will use one of the properties. So, uh, alright. So, we started with the P in the support and P is a minimal element. Now, when I localize, so V is here then localize V at P. So, there is a natural map here and we have the support of this is a support. So, if P is in the support of V, then it will, this is non-zero and therefore, so therefore, support of this module VP as a AP module, definitely the image of P in the localization that should be there and there won't be any more because uh, all the prime ideals which are uh, smaller they cannot be in the support because we have chosen a minimal element, we have given a minimal element in the support. Therefore, the only possibility is this guy in the support and that is in the support. So, therefore, we have this, but all right. So, if I, if I now, uh, so support is this and on the other hand, uh, also what is the, what about the associated primes of V localized at P at A localized at P? This I want to check that this is non-empty. Once I check it is non-empty, <coughs> let us first check it is non-empty. That is because if I look at, look at this module since V localized at P and if I further localize at a prime ideal Q, Q A localized at P. So, Q is the prime ideal which is contained in P because in the ring A localized at P, the only prime ideals will come from A which are contained in P. The other prime ideals which are not contained in P, they will become unit ideals. So, if I take any Q in contained in P, Q prime ideal in A, and further localize this VP at this, this I get, this is isomorphic to V localized at Q. This is an easy property of the localization. So, this is this, therefore, definitely the uh, associated primes of this is uh, non empty because this is uh, non zero oh, module 
this is non empty and therefore the associated prime ideals so that implies associated prime ideals of vp as ap module this is precisely pap there is no other way because we we have proved that associated prime ideals are uh, is a subset of the support so the support has only one element and this associated primes is a non empty set and it is contained in this so there is no choice so associated prime ideals of this must be this and now use the localization after localization i proved vp pap is associated to vp so that will prove that p belongs to associated prime ideals of v this is by the theorem we proved in the localization case so that proves this theorem and uh, we will continue this uh, uh, discussion more uh, in the next uh, lecture and there we will also discuss about what is called primary decomposition of a module over a noetherian tree thank you very much